Next, the soldier from Stevenage in Hertfordshire who cheated death by a matter of millimetres. 31-year-old Lance Corporal Andrew Ferguson was targeted by a sniper in Afghanistan. Amazingly, the bullet passed straight through his neck without hitting his spine or any major arteries. Alpha Patel has the story. Pardon? What were they doing? Just around, the scar tissue around there. That bit there is the worst. Cause that's where the exit wound is. They call him the miracle of Helmand. His battle scars now the only clue to how close he came to death. It's only been five weeks since Lance Corporal Andrew Ferguson was shot in the neck. He was on patrol with the 1st Battalion, the Royal Anglian Regiment, when his unit came under fire. Second or two, I was like, that's it, I'm going to die. And when I realised I wasn't dead, I thought, I better check, try and move my hands and my toes to see if I wasn't paralysed. Yeah, I was still in shock. I was like, walking around thinking, how am I not paralyzed, how am I not dead? Um, and the medic himself told me it was just a graze, because I was sort of, you know, I was asking the medic what was wrong, I was telling him, you know, don't lie to me, tell me the truth, what's up? And he was telling me it was just a graze, and it was only when I got to Bastion, they told me, when they, when they told me, you're going to be all right, I've been very lucky, and they then told me it actually gone right through my neck. Lucky Lance Corporal Ferguson not only cheated death, he avoided being paralyzed. The bullet entered his neck just behind his left ear. Incredibly, it missed all the major arteries passing out of the other side, avoiding his vertebrae by three millimeters. Someone was looking down on me that day. Um, so yeah, I feel very lucky. Especially obviously when you get to a place like Sully, I can see how some of the other lads are who have suffered injuries. You know, you tend to feel a lot more lucky then. The father of two from Stevenage is almost fully recovered and is determined to return to the front line. But for now, it's desk duties for this Lance Corporal and some unavoidable banter with his colleagues. Most of them just to take the mic, tell me I should have ducked. Alpha Battelle, Anglia News. That's something, isn't it?